Hey there everyone, it's Summer again and I'm back with another video with the Huawei Vision S. So, as some of you may know, Huawei released their Vision S smart screen not too long ago. And as stated in my previous video, there are a couple of concerns that may turn people off from buying it, despite its plethora of interesting features. The first would be the concern of lacking native Netflix, YouTube and Spotify support. Well, good news, because there are ways for you to enjoy your favourite apps and content. And one of them is by using a TV box. Huawei Malaysia is aware that not having your favourite video and music streaming platform might be a deal breaker for you. So, they've decided to bundle one with every purchase of the Vision S. Let me show you how it works. First, you need to plug in the TV box to a power source. And then, hook it up to your TV via the HDMI cable provided. Once you turn both your TV and the TV box on, go to Input Source on your Vision S and select the one you plug your TV box into, in this case, HDMI 3. Once you click in, you'll be prompt to set it up with an Android account or skip it altogether. And voila, you're in! The TV box allows you to use the Vision S just like an Android TV. Netflix and YouTube are built in and you can sign into Google Play to download even more apps if you wish. Of course, you need Netflix subscription to use Netflix. That's not free, okay? You can also use voice commands to search for stuff, though you have to use the remote control included with the TV box for that. While it is an extra step compared to Android TVs, it's not that much of a hassle once you've got it all set up. Some of you may ask, why not just get another Android-based smart TV then? Well, you definitely can, but then you won't be able to enjoy the Vision S Hallmark features, which is the built-in webcam and me time. But I don't have a Huawei phone to use it with, you may say. But here's the thing, you can access me time with your Android phone too. Phones Android 8.0 and above support the Huawei Vision app, which allows you to make me time calls. Here, let me show you how. All you have to do is scan this QR code on the screen and you'll be led to the download page. Once you've installed the Vision S app, just tap on the Me Time button on the app's main page and grant all the necessary permissions and you'll be good to go. Do note that using this method, you'll only be able to Me Time your Vision S smart screen and not other phones. Apart from just making Me Time calls, installing the Vision S app on your phone opens up all the other functionalities it offers too. You can use it as a remote control, mirror your phone screen to the Vision S, and adjust other settings from here as well. So don't fret if you don't have a Huawei phone to pair with your Vision S. As long as you have a phone running on Android 8.0 and above, you're all good. No words on the iOS compatibility though, so if you're an iPhone user, you might have to wait for a future update instead. The last question I'm going to talk about is installing APKs on the Vision S. If you're a Huawei phone user, you can simply download the APKs on your phone and use Huawei Share to transfer it over. But if you're not, you can use a USB flash drive and transfer it over using that. And that's about it. I hope these solutions will help you enjoy your new Huawei Vision S smart screen if you've purchased or are planning to purchase one. While it's certainly not the most ideal situation to jump through extra hoops just to get these functions up and running, I do commend Huawei for acknowledging these issues and providing a workable solution for all of them. Anyways, that's all from me today. I'm Summer from Salty News Network and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!